guys I'm back here we are part two of the acrylic dirty pour flipped cup chessboard and as you can see here I've got a bunch of the pieces they're all dry obviously the colors have dulled you know like they tend to do um you know it's partly the paint that I use but that's okay I'm actually kind of glad they dulled up a bit because that bright orange and that bright green sort of for me took over all the other colors and now that they've dried the dark pieces are even darker and the green is dark and then the you know the lighter pieces the orange has dulled up so it's not like glaring so I really kind of like the way the pieces are coming together uh, right now all I'm doing is numbering renumbering the back because as you can see when I had them set on that plastic I didn't realize that so much paint was gonna flow under but it did all that paint just flowed under them so I am going back and renumbering my tiles um, so that when I take them all off of this board that I'm going to glue them to hopefully you know nobody will touch them they won't get moved or they won't fall off or anything like that um, and I won't you know lose the order but just in case we're going through and numbering all of them um, yeah so here we are and like I said all the pieces are dry they're fitting together really pretty cool really good um, obviously there's going to be a slight bit I think once I got to the top um, I noticed that there's a slight gap probably less than a millimeter between that last tile and what's going to be the wall of the chessboard so I'm not really sure what to do about that whether I should just leave it and just let it fill in with resin um, and I might just like kind of paint the board black underneath just so you know it'll be dark under there so you really won't be able to tell I don't, I don't think you're really going to notice but the plan is to take all these pieces um, cut this to the exact size that I need um, I don't know what kind of board this is, but it's really heavy and it's very thick. Um, but it was free. My dad gave it to me. It's some really nice wood. <laughs> uh, probably way too nice for this project, but I'm going to use it anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to cut the board out to the exact right size and glue the tile down probably with some... Um, no, I can't think of it. Anyway, they're really, really um, tough glue that you can glue things to wood and the wood won't soak the moisture out of the glue. That kind of glue. <sighs> Liquid nails, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're going to do. Um, and then afterwards, I'm going to put some kind of frame around it. And I'm thinking maybe have the frame up high enough where the resin will sort of pool in it and won't pour over it. That's what I'm thinking so far. So I'm going to finish numbering these tiles and we're going to cut the board and uh, I'm not sure what step I'm going to show you next. It could be me just, you know, gluing down a few tiles just so you can kind of see, you know, what I'm doing there and we'll go from there. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, as you can see, let's pan out just a little bit. I am done gluing the pieces on, and I have made sure that it's all square on all the sides, as close as it can be. This side is obviously going to be the side that's off a little bit, along with this, just a slight bit, because of the tiles. But I mean, that's pretty amazing that it's that close. But this side is as you can see not exactly perfect but hopefully when I put the board on there it'll kind of come in just a little bit and uh, take care of that gap if not resin will fill it up and hopefully it won't really be noticed too well but we've got all the pieces glued down I managed to not scrape paint off the face of any of these tiles but I, on a couple of the tiles just a little tiny edge on the corner um, the paint kind of wore off just a hint just because I kept moving the pieces around so I'll be you know be more careful with them next time 
but all in all, considering the fact that I've been moving these pieces around for days and days and days, and have been working on this for a while, although you guys are seeing it all in one video, I've been working on this thing for on and off for about, oh, I don't know, uh, at least a month now. Um, you know, just sort of while I'm working on other things, just work on this a little bit and then work on something else. Because, you know, I can't do it all in one day. But I'm pretty happy with how it is turning out so far. There's really not much else to say. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll be back when I've got the resin. And we'll frame it in first. I, I want to say I'm going to paint the frame before I screw it on there. But then I'll have screw holes on the side, so I'm not really sure. And I really don't want to have to sand that off and fill it with wood putty and then repaint it and all that stuff. So I really don't know how I'm going to do this yet. So I'm going to have to think on it just a little bit more. And um, we'll be back when I'm ready, ready to pour the resin. Okay, as you can see, I'm outside. I've been sanding and fixing the corners. I've got the trim on there. Uh, I pre-painted it, but obviously I'm going to have to paint over it again. Um, and these nails are going to get painted over. They were supposed to be like little accent pieces, but for several reasons, they're going to get painted over. But, uh, you know, this is the first time making this, so I've learned a few lessons. And um, as you can see, all the pieces are, are actually really nice and snug in there. So the next step is going to be to pour some resin. And then the last step will be to spray paint the trim again. So we'll be back when I've got the resin all mixed up and ready to pour. Back inside. Okay, we're back. I have the resin mixed up. Um, hopefully this will be enough. I have kind of calculated before that... Um, one of those six inch by six inch uh, tiles usually use about 15 milliliters of resin and I probably waste a little bit of it but um, it's better to have a little too much than a little too little <laughs> so um, actually you know 64 nine squares is about a six inch by six inch tile so 64 squares blah 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 you can do the math so anyway um, I did a little extra resin just in case it like goes down through the thing I don't know so we're just gonna pour it on and really hope for the <laughs> for the best here I don't want to over pour because I don't want it to go over these edges so going to tilt it a little bit see if we can't get it to move around I don't want to take the stick and, and you know move it around that way because uh oh I've got my uh, leveling system here falling apart and of course the resin got cold as soon as it hit these tiles so it all of a sudden doesn't want to move around a whole lot I might have to take the stick and move it around though because I don't want a real thick coating of resin I just want it to coat the tiles and have a nice smooth finish I don't know where that came from oh I hope I got I hope I have enough resin now I'm like worried that I don't have enough This one is probably going to take two coats of resin, I'm assuming, um, just because the first layer is going to be super thin and yeah, I think I'm going to have to move it around with my stick so that I can get it into all the Oh my goodness, that's a lot of 
resin. I thought it was going to be plenty. I thought it was actually going to be way too much, but okay. I don't want to get resin all over the bottom of the thing. Does not want to move at all. <laughs> so let's see if we can coax it a little bit. It just has to go to the edges and definitely not over the edges, please. This board is really heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Take it down this corner. It's slowly going that way. Good. It's making me nervous though. I don't want it to go over the corner. Okay. Now it has gone to the corner. Let's turn it. Hopefully once I lay it back flat, it will go back to, you know, it'll kind of level back out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Want to get in that corner. There we go. Okay. Now back down this way. Okay, so I probably used, let me think for a second. Oh, I don't know. I have to do the math off camera. In just a second. <laughs> Come on, baby. I can see this is definitely going to need a second coat because it is not thick enough to, although I kind of like the indentions of the tile. I might leave it. Come on, baby. waiting for it to get on there. Okay, now I just have this section left. Hopefully we've got enough. This is going to be iffy. Come on. It's slower than molasses in January. going over. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. This thing is super heavy.
corner. Sorry. Okay. Come back this way. I think I have enough time. I don't think I have enough resin. Oh, fudge. Damn. I'm saying that. I am. Shit. Come on down, please. Okay, let's set that down carefully. There we go. Okay, the resin has been poured and all the air bubbles are popped. I'll come back in in a minute or two and I see a little dust. I see several dust things, but most of them like, I can't really do anything about. 
There's just nothing to fix. I don't know why I can't keep from getting dust in my... in my resin, but oh well. Give it one more. And then I'm going to cover it up and I will leave it for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and torch it again. All right, here we are. We're back. I have painted the trim. Um, I countersunk the nails on the sides because they were they they just weren't working. So I countersunk them and wood puttied over them. And actually, it's not wood putty because wood putty doesn't actually harden ever. Um, it's called plastic wood, and it's really cool stuff. You could put it on there and sand it off within like 15 minutes. And so then I spray painted the black lacquer. Uh, over the edges. It actually looks nice and neat now. And I'm going to pour a second layer of resin. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, the layer of resin the first time was really super thin, which actually turned out to be a good idea. So um, I think I picked up my. Yeah. I'm moving my cards here. I got to fix them. Um, this is my leveling system here. So, okay. So anyway, um, I'm trying to sort of catch the light with it, but I don't know if I'm catching the light, but you can kind of see where all of the, um, all of the corners meet. It actually, the, the resin actually kind of sunk down in it, which I was wanting it to do, but, um, and then in some of the edges here, I think it was slightly off balance. So the resin didn't go into the, like this edge well enough. So anyway, we're going to pour a second coat of resin. I've already mixed it up and we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope that it pours out nice and level. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to pour it like down into this corner first, just so it can start working in this corner to kind of, and hopefully it will go that way and not over the edge. Oh, it makes me really nervous. I don't want it going over the edge at all. And it looks like it's thinking about going over the edge right there. So, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do that. And hopefully that will keep it from going over the edge. Okay. I just want it to, you know, head down in that direction and then I'll just tilt it that way. That might work a little better. Okay. I don't want to pour it all on there to begin with. But I do want these corners to cooperate here. There we go. Okay, so this was a super fun project. It, it has taken a while. I know y'all are seeing the video all in one you know, little setting, but I've been working on this on and off for probably a month and a half to two months now. Just, you know, work on it, set it aside, work on it again a few days later, a week later, whatever. When the weather was cooperating so I could work outside with it. I'm trying to make sure it's in all these little corners here. It looks like it is. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it a bit. See if I can get it. You know, I'm going to heat it up with my torch real quick. Uh, so we can, one, you know, get rid of some of those air bubbles there, and two, kind of heat it up so it'll move around a little bit better. And when I mix my resin, I keep I hold my cup down very gently down in the um, sort of bowl of warm water that I had my bottles resting in, so that um, so that the resin will flow a little easier. Okay, and I'm going to tilt this very carefully. 
this way. I can get it to flow down and then kind of back up. Hopefully it will level out perfectly and I won't have to fuss with this thing anymore. But this has been, this really is kind of a satisfying project. You know, I, I've had more control over it. Um, other than obviously the pour. So, well, slow down, slow down, slow down. It wants to go in that corner, but I don't want it to. I don't want it to go over. I'm watching this corner and I'm watching that edge over there. And I want it to just, I don't want it to bubble over. I want it to, whoa, and there it goes. We're going to just move this around, I think. I don't want it to bubble over the edge. So, I think it is starting to go over the edge right here. I don't want it to do that, so. Because I don't want the resin on the outside of the... Okay, so. I'm going to try and sort of run it along the sides here, and then hopefully it will kind of smooth out everywhere else. This is the most nerve-wracking part of it because I'm totally worried it's going to overflow. And I <laughs> worked really hard on uh, the edges. I don't want them to. I'm having a hard time seeing where all the resin is now. here. And because I've leveled this off, it doesn't want to move. Corner, corner. It's thinking about it. There we go. Just try and get it to hit that black edge there. Well, you can see that it's not going over any of the edges, so that's cool. Not yet, anyway. This is very hard to see from across the table. Of course, those green squares are really super hard to see. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep working on this for a minute. I'm going to pause. And let me get into the edges, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all the resin poured in there. Now I'm going to torch it again. Make sure we get all the initial air bubbles out. Then I'm going to cover it up and come back in 10 or 15 minutes and torch it again. And I'll do that for probably about an hour or so. And then I will cover it up for the night and reveal it tomorrow. I'm not seeing too much dust in there, thank goodness. I always have dust in my resin, but not too much. See like one little piece there that I can't do anything about. I tried picking them out, but I'm really no good at that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, we're almost done. All we have to do is wait till tomorrow and I will reveal the finished product.
All right, I'll see you in a... Well, I'll see you tomorrow, but you'll see me in like five seconds. Okay, so y'all can see that the resin is completely dry and it's pretty awesome. You can see the shine on it, the reflection. The colors are maybe a hint washed out because of the bright light I've got on them, but you can see that the resin you know, it went all the way to the edge here. It's like a nice smooth edge here. No big dimples from the resin and I didn't I didn't wash these tiles off at all so I'm pretty stoked that <laughs> there are no dimples from the resin. This is two coats of resin so but even the first coat of resin didn't have any dimples in it from the silicone. And this is this was not the 100% silicone. This is the CRC heavy duty silicone from that I get from Walmart. So that's kind of why you don't see like an overload of cells. So I can get you back in focus here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take you outside so you can see how pretty this looks, hopefully in the sunshine. Okay, so I have it sitting out here in the sunshine, and hopefully I'm not getting my toes <laughs> in the video. There's Thor. Hey, buddy. My watchdog there. <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see, you know, in the sunshine how pretty and bright it is. I hope you can see it. And for my first time doing one of these, just you know, completely out of my own imagination here. I'm pretty happy with the results. I definitely want to do another one. I'm definitely going to make some changes. Uh, this, um, this edge piece here, this was just some fir wood. So really soft. And when I hammered it, hammered the nails into it, it kind of dented. So that I'll probably next time use maybe some oak strips, a little harder wood. Um, not paint the outside edges while uh, before not paint the outside edges before I you know nail the nails into it because obviously I had to paint over it anyway so um, just paint like the inside edges where the resin is going to sit up against and then paint the whole thing after the first coat of resin before the second coat of resin definitely two coats of resin was a good idea and um, I don't know I mean I, I the color palette is really interesting now that it's all completely finished I'm really really kind of excited about this one so y'all let me know what you think about it um, and uh, thanks for watching you know both videos all the way through um, you probably did some fast forwarding I know I did when I had to rewatch it several times I was trying to edit some parts out and I just couldn't do it. Um, it just wouldn't have made any sense. So I am apologize for all the boring chatter and, you know, not a lot of action through the video. But I hope it was worth watching. I hope y'all enjoy this. And uh, I hope y'all go make one of your own. It was a lot of work. Um, definitely not a one-day project. So, you know, I guess you get out of it what you put into it. So, y'all let me know what you think. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers, everybody that's new to my channel, and everybody that's been sticking with me. Um, I just want to say to uh, those of you who have given me some, some real sweet pick-me-up comments lately, I really appreciate that. You know, <laughs> some of y'all know I've been having kind of a, a rough time lately, just, you know, just trying to figure out who I am and, you know, what I should be doing. And uh, y'all have really supported me, so I really appreciate that. I love you very much. Y'all are some really good friends to me. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, and uh, next week, I will actually be on vacation. My parents have been awesome enough to invite me and the kids uh, to the beach with them. So, 
yeah, so I'll, I'll be on vacation next week. I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload videos from where I'll be. I'll be on an island, so um, I think they have Wi-Fi there, so we'll see. So hopefully you'll see me again on Monday. And um, if not, I'll post a video of a little bit of the beach when I get back. All right, wherever you are on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome day. I love you all. See you later. Bye.